Hi guys, welcome to Preweb Solution. I'm extremely sorry for being not available and uh, I hope you're all fine and welcome back. We are going to uh, lead our tutorials. Uh, so at the end what we did we just update this and uh, we want this to be like this one okay so let's get start what we have to do i have already told you that inspect element is the most for you if you want to learn the web development Okay guys I was just ensuring that the recording is working or not okay guys so let's inspect it so this is a span with ID total card total so let's make some make its position to absolute okay width is like 30 pixel height like 30 pixel and top should be 0 okay and left would be 0 but uh, we want it to be like uh, 20 okay okay and background color would be this one border radius to sorry Fifty percent and line height would be thirty as that of uh, height and color would be H F F F. Okay, so guys, you can see it's looking good, but we have to make it more right, like this one. Okay, if you think it's too much then we can make it like 25 I think it look nice and make it also 25 okay just copy this and in at cot dash total we have to write this so what we have to do is I have already opened the project in my sublime text so what you have to do you have to go to catalog then you have to go to this would be the path then you have to go to the view then you have to go to the themes okay mm. Then you have to go to your theme, then you have to go to style sheet, style sheet.css and we have to do that styling for cart total so hash cart total let me paste it and clear the class that it will is it is it the class okay 
So this is the class I have copied and I will paste over here its ID so we have assigned this so now we have to refresh our theme you will see there is no changes and you have to do control F5 to make the cache clear so you see the changes have been reflected but there is an issue like if I update my cart when it gets updated there is an icon then there is something like this so we don't want this it is because the javascript do the work and if we have reloaded it it will be uh, it will be like we have did it so it's because of the uh, add to cart javascript function so let inspect and see what is the JavaScript function working over here that is cart and cart that add so we have to go to our JavaScript folder here's a JavaScript folder then we have to see common and we have to find the add function so cart remove function this is the cart and this is the remove cart that add move function and uh, here we will see that this is doing the updation that if we click on the button set out time means that it will reload and it will change the value of cart to this you can see this card is uh, the card is shown the card icon is shown when it's get updated so let's have look it again you see the card and the total so we want we don't want the card okay I will just delete it and I will save it and now what we do we will refresh the browser while by pressing control F5 okay again I am going to again click the add to cart so you can see the cart is updated but it's styling and it's all over are collapsed when we do the <coughs> sorry guys cart button it is due to these style so what we have to do is we have to just delete or uncomment the style sheet dot css 173 line number so this is the whole path where we have to go so 173 i have to open 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 style sheet style sheet dot css and i have to go to 173 so guys this is because of this i will make it uncomment and now see when i update the javascript okay i will again make it sorry we have to do the control f5 again working why color black and all that where well, the cut is not showing okay guys this is a total and uh, let me refresh it and we will see what's actually going on this is the shopping bag color 
hackers in the PGM pertain to this so I will I have to copy this okay I will paste it over here and I will mention the I and I will make it color to black okay guys so let's see again not working anyhow I, I think it's due to JavaScript so what I have to do is uh, I have to go to my JavaScript and I uh, have to see what's uh, going on over here okay I have to do is up this control f5 I will explain you what I did but for now I have to see the why it's not working. Anyhow, it's fine for now. I will explain it later where it did it so. And now, what we have to do, we have to change this interface, and this interface is changed from the card dot. Uh, card.tpl file and you can see how you can ensure that this portion will be uh, is a part of the card.tpl file I will tell you a tip like I check I inspect this element and I can see the card with the class name between group between block okay now I have to copy this card to close this one to go to the file and I will write cot sorry it's cot.tpl hmm? hmm. I have to go to common then I have to go to cot.tpl I have to inspect it whether it's the right one you can see over here that this is a cart ID and btn group btn block okay so this is the same file as we have seen this okay we have to ch we want to change it to this one and it should uh, work like this one and I don't know where it's going on there uh, okay any anyhow Mm. we want to this one to like this so we have to make some changes and we have to do some CSS styling over here so first of all we will make it in the inspect element and we will copy and paste the theme code to that one I have to copy this and uh, you can see that the card dot drop down menu background color is this I have to make this to white one okay so I have to go to style sheet dot CSS 187 line number style dot CSS 187 so this is the one so I have to do this mm -hmm.
triggers now we will refresh it control f5 you can see the color is changed and now what we have to do is we have to make the style this one okay we have to mention the price over here okay and quantity to over here and we will change this to cross button to this thrash basket button button so first of all what we have to do is we have to clear its background I have to go to this table okay and table body and TDR so you can see here this is the bootstrap min dot CSS and that's where it's coming over here okay there should be one thing border so we need the border and just we what we don't need is the border of drop down menu so i have copied this class i have to go to my style sheet mm, paste this and make the border to none and make it not important because we want to write the property of bootstraps class so we have to use the not important class so let's see Yes, the border is working okay border has finished and now what we have to do is we have to make its color to white like this one So you have to copy this one. I have to go to style.css and I have to go to my end of the file and to make the code drop down td background ff ff. So what we have to do is we have to make the background to none not important as we are again overriding the property of bootstrap so let's refresh it with control f5 to clear the cache so guys you can see it's working good and what we have to do now is we have to make this text to red which is this color okay i will mm, this is a text left color 
and you can see that I will make it to I will use the class like you can say card table text left card table text left yes card table dot text left to left a color would be color and this would be the color let's see is it working or not I have again do the control F5 and you can see it's working and we have to uh, take this value over here okay so we have to go to chord dot um, this is our file and this is a text center this is the text left uh, this is the product title which color we have changed and uh, quantity and total so this is the total class and we have to uh, make this to 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 and uh, this td text left and after this we have to make a small beer to paste this one so let's see what happens control f5 okay guys so it's working fine and now we have to do is make this a little we have to make some adjustment and we have to change this logo to basket so it will be changed from over here at the very end this this one this is the button and this is the class between danger between xx so you have to remove the btn class okay and i have to provide it the fa thrash or it would be a basket or i think it's thrash so guys we have to make it uh, btn custom and btn let me search i have make some btn custom now so what we have to do is we have to make cart dot btn custom and its background would be would be none and its uh, mm, color would be hash 41414 or 41 I think it's 41 I hope it's a light grayish color and now it's okay I have to see what's what would be the output okay you can see it's working good and what I have to do is I have to make the border to none and I have to make the border none it's affecting the upper one also so you have to make the custom custom fresh okay so that it would not affect the 
custom that's trash okay so it will not affect this button you can see it's working good and you can You guys, it's working good, and what we have to do is we have to. Uh, delete the border of this one and image thumbnail has the border so i have to copy this one i have to mention the hash card to image thumbnail so i have to make the border to none adsers I am using the bootstrap class in my CSS so I have to make not important I have to refresh it okay guys it's working and fine and I have to do it also I have to bold one so I have to make the font size to like 14 like this okay it's working good and you can see I have to make a bright one its color would be I think like okay 999 card dot price okay I have to find price Okay, let me make a color hash nine 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 two three four five six. Sorry, guys. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I have to refresh this one. So, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, uh. What I have to do is I have to assign a class to that one like price and I have to make that color to this one so I have to go to the code and I have to assign it in a class like above uh, okay this one so I have to wrap in a span and I have to assign the class of price okay guys it's working good and uh, i have to make the quantity to board one so quantity quantity total 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 and quantity would be this so i can make it wrap in a board like this or you can use the css but will work fine you can see and you can see the background is still there it's because we haven't used the dot none important property okay Mm -hmm. let me look at it word showing like this there is no background and this was the box shadow
Okay guys. So further what we will do, we will make this thing and uh, and we will remove uh, all other fears. So this is enough for today. Practices and sorry for being delay. Thank you so much and take care of yourself if you like my videos because there is no such videos of open court in the whole YouTube. So please like my channel, like my videos and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much guys. Bye bye.